magical invention responsible for those little synchronized explosions in your engine that keep your car on the road and you off the bus. Oh, oh, oh. It's important to choose a belt designed for the engine it's running on. Lucky for you, you can choose the company that supplies the most timing belts to the OE manufacturers. One guess, it's Gates. Of course, you need a well-made timing belt, but that is only one part of the timing system. If the pulleys and tensioners are worn, well, the repair doesn't stand much of a chance. And if the timing system includes the water pump, make sure you are flushing the cooling system and installing a new water pump at the same time you're replacing the timing system components. So, you're probably already buying timing belts in a kit. Newsflash, using all the parts in the kit is critical. Buying a kit and not using all the components makes zero sense. A box of mac and cheese is a kit. You never boil the macaroni and skip the cheese. Do you? <laughs> Doing the job right is imperative, and we know that most technicians follow a complete systems approach. Timing belt component kits include all the parts needed for a complete repair of the belt-driven part of the system. Timing belt repairs require a lot of attention to detail. Maybe not as much as assembling a piece of furniture from a big Swedish furniture store. Sometimes, we also include a technical service bulletin to call out additional insights into the repair. Here's the $64 million question. How can you ensure that the tensioners you're installing are going to work properly? Glad you asked. First, all hydraulic tensioners must be bled before installation. What? Hydraulic tensioners don't come out of the box ready to go? I don't know. Does a steak come out of the package ready to go? Air and oil can mix in the hydraulic tensioner cylinder, and that can cause a soft tensioner, one where the rod extends and applies pressure but doesn't create the force needed to properly tension the system. There is no way to know if this has happened, so bleeding the tensioner is a necessary step. Be careful though. A quick or rapid recompressing of the rod can blow out the seal and permanently damage the tensioner. Instructions for bleeding tensioners vary. Be absolutely sure to follow the proper bleeding instructions for your tensioner. Some procedures require you to place the tensioner vertically in a vise and slowly recompress the rod and bleed out the air to ensure proper operation. Make sure to insert the pin back in the tensioner when the procedure is completed. Eccentric tensioner is an odd name, isn't it? The key to installing eccentric and spring tensioners takes us back to our instructions conversation. You have to follow the proper installation procedures with both types of tensioners or they will not tension properly. And you know the problems that come with that. Rotate the engine a couple of times to recheck timing marks, tension, and alignment. Looks can be deceiving. Believe it or not, a thumb is not an accurate measuring tool. And for Pete's sake, don't twist or tightly bend the belt. That can have devastating effects on the tensile cords of the belt. Here are some great final tips. Inspecting bolts and brackets during the repair and torquing bolts to the proper values is important. Don't reuse torque to yield bolts. Just don't. They are one-time use bolts. Reusing them is, well, just a bad idea. There is a lot at stake when you do a timing system repair. Using a complete kit is crucial. Doing it correctly takes the skills you bring to the job. It also takes the expertise we bring to the table. Make sure that you follow the points we have outlined here. Your skill and our expertise will lead the way. Protect the ride 